What's going on guys, it's Ryan Huber, and today I wanted to show you how to renew your CFI certificate, how I did that, and um, the different ways to do it in a review of how I did it through the American Flyers FIRC online program. So we'll just take a minute, we'll jump into my computer here, and I'll show you A, how to renew your CFI certificate, and how I did so. going on guys so if we jump into the FARs real quick I'll show you the different ways via 61197 how you can renew your CFI uh, if some of you know me maybe from my previous videos a couple years ago I got my CFI uh, CFI double I and MEI with ATP through ATP's fast track program about two years ago now so it's come time November of this year to renew my CFI certificate. Uh, if you know, your CFI is valid for 24 calendar months. So it is time to renew my CFI certificate. And if you don't know, you should absolutely renew your CFI because if you don't, you have to retake the practical test if your CFI expires. And if any of you have gone through the CFI check ride, I'm sure you know that that is a pretty bad option. You do not want to redo the CFI check ride. That would really, really suck. So, Looking at 61197 here, we've got the renewal requirements for flight instructor certificate. If it expired, you can pass the practical test again. Uh, I don't think anyone wants to do that. And then you have the different ways that you can renew your CFI. So if you have a record of 80% pass rate of at least five students in the past 24 calendar months and you send this record to the FAA, then you can get your CFI renewed without having to do any courses or anything like that. So that's a pretty awesome option for those of you that instruct a lot of students. Secondly, a record showing that within the preceding 24 calendar months, uh, you have served as a company check pilot, chief flight instructor, check airman, or flight instructor in part 121 or 135. Uh, that's not something I have done, but if that is your situation, you can just submit that and get that renewed. Or a graduation certificate showing that within the preceding three calendar months, the person has successfully completed an approved flight instructor refresher course consisting of ground training or flight training. It doesn't have to be both. It can be a combination of both. So this is what I did. I did an FIRC course through American Flyers is what I chose uh, to do. There's a couple different ones I'll show you guys that I'll pull up here. First off, there's a uh, Glime has a course for $99.95. It looks like they offer two units for free as an option. There's a bunch of different companies that do this. Sporties as well has an option, $99. Paperless CFI renewal, ACR processing requires three business days for processing. Uh, so Sporties has an option. AOPA has an option as well. Their own refresher course, 124. So they're all about $100, roughly $125 to do it online. Um, I went with the FIRC for life from American Flyers. Um, the reason I went with this is I asked some people on Facebook uh, I have a group, the ATP Flight School Students and Alumni Group. We've got over 2,400 members in there. And uh, in the group, I asked some people who had done it previously, you know, what's the best option? And a lot of people re recommended this option to renew the CFI. So it was pretty plain and simple. Uh, pay once. And the good thing about this is it's FIRC for life. So you pay $99 once and you can renew your flight instructor certificate every two years at no additional cost, which is pretty cool. A hundred bucks. Now, when I when I, I hadn't done any research on this previously until a couple months ago, and I thought it would be like $500, $1,000. I didn't know much about these courses until looking into them. And it's a lot more simple than I originally thought to renew your CFI certificate. I thought it was gonna be a lot more complicated. Um, but yeah, this is so, so easy. So there's like, there's no point in doing a new check ride that would just be absolutely terrible to let it expire um you know it doesn't really take that long you can do it on your ipad iphone mac pc tablet whatever lifetime benefit with this course um pretty easy you create an account it's got 12 different lessons it lists them down here culture of safety ethics and professionalism flight review ipc pilot deviations how to teach your students to avoid regular review TSA, stall spin awareness, takeoff and landings, navigating in the 21st century, preventing loss of control, operating IFR, security related special use airspace and continuous education uh, FAA fast team. So each of these modules is about 10 text slides. Um, it's not a very, it's not super user friendly. Uh, there's a couple videos, but uh, the videos aren't that great. The text is pretty mundane, pretty boring. 
Um, it's one of those programs where if you know your stuff, you can kind of just, it has a time limit. I think it's 60 minutes or 75 minutes per module, um, but you can just let it run and then just skip through uh, all the text and take the five question quiz at the end if that's uh, you know how you roll. Um, I actually read it, uh, I did. Um, so you can, it has some good information over all these topics. Um, it's nothing too, too new or crazy. There's some stuff on, um, you know, new aircraft, uh, regarding glass cockpits and stuff, ADSB, uh, some updates, some different case studies. So it's some decent information. I think it could have been prevented or could have been presented better, um, with more video or more kind of interactive features and stuff. But Hey, uh, you know, it's easy. It's not that bad. I got through it, you know maybe an hour or so per lesson. And then there's a 15 question quiz at the end. You complete that. And then for $26 extra, really simple. So $126 total, uh, you get this for life. You pay 26 bucks and paperless, literally you send in um, your certificate stuff, do the IACRA online, and you'll have your certificate that you can print off your computer. You don't have to go into the FISDO. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to send anything to FAA. It's all done electronically. So you literally take this course online. That's it. And then you can print off your certificate from home, which is fantastic. And then within three business days, I had my certificate and I was done. I renewed my flight instructor certificate for another two years. Good until November 2020. So uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, reviews over the American Flyers course or Sporty's Glime, uh, another one of the courses, please leave that in the comments below. Uh, like, subscribe. I'll be posting more videos now on this channel. Um, and if you have any uh, comments, questions, concerns, hit me up down below. Uh, also, follow me on Instagram at Worldwide Hube. I'll put it somewhere right there. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Keep up with what I'm doing. Uh, and let's connect guys. Sort your full potential, be great, and I'll see you in the next video.